the place for comic book and anime reviews. Brian Campbell Trub, YouTube channel, the place for all your comic book and anime reviews. And today you guys are doing my review of Hunter x Hunter episode number 54. So that was Hunter x Hunter. Um, well, before I actually get on to this talk about Hunter x Hunter, I actually want to bring up something for you guys. Um, this week I will not be um, putting up as many anime reviews for this week. Uh, simply because I have kind of started getting into the school year again. I'm getting back into college. Uh, so I will not be able to put like this many videos up for this week. Um, coming up this Saturday... I'm actually going to try to get up all the videos I would normally do throughout, do throughout the week on this day, um, on that Saturday if I can, um, kind of like what I used to do, and you know I'm going to basically really try and like get them out like a lot, a little bit, a little bit at that pace for you guys, so you guys can um, get them all that day um, instead of waiting. Um, so anyway, guys, let me just go ahead and talk about this episode of Hunter x Hunter. Um, so this episode of Hunter x Hunter, it wasn't, I never was probably one of my favorite episodes. It definitely was just kind of there for me. Uh, it was interesting, but I definitely didn't love it the way I was hoping to love it. Like how I normally enjoy a Hunter x Hunter episode. Uh, because a lot of this was just mainly just training and things like that. And like going to Kilo and learning how to better control their NIN abilities. It was all cool and nice to watch. But you know, you definitely want to start to move forward a bit better than it was. Um, we actually get a little bit more with the other team that um, Gon and Kill had made at the beginning of this arc. It seemed that they're going to become a, a larger role in this arc than definitely we had thought they were going to be because it keeps going back to them. Uh, and you see that they're kind of having a lot of trouble right now because there's this person who is group or, or refines a group of people actually who wants to get cars from them and they're willing to basically kill them for it. And um, the character does die in this episode, but I think the way that the character had died was a little bit eh, weak to me. Um, it definitely wasn't that strong and it probably could have been. Uh, it, it, I think it definitely has, because of how like all bright and light this show always feels. Uh, a lot of times, and you know, the bright colors make the death scenes feel like less apparent. But I guess, I guess it's also kind of uh, on purpose as well, maybe um, to kind of see that dichotomy between like this bright, future, happy world. Um, but in the shadow, there's all these, these killings that are going on in the shadow of this happiness. Um, so I know that was just kind of interesting in many, many facets, in many, many ways. Um, but anyway, you get a bridge from my dog on Hunter x Hunter, episode 64. Then you'll cost blow with you guys up as episode of Hunter x Hunter, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.